it's time we did a beginner's introduction to flowers. All the suppliers have been advertising these great bags of coloured petals. Every time they advertise, I go and have a look and see which, which petal colours I don't have and get a nice big fat bag. Because these are brilliant. You wouldn't bother cutting them yourself unless you're a top gun stained glass maker. So they come in this shape, basically, and sometimes you'll get little bits on here that need to be ground off or rubbed off and um, pretty much make an eight petal flower. But what can we do to make these flowers our very own? So this is a standard one here, as you can see, and I'll go through a couple of tips first because those who are already used to um, working with these can just watch the tips and, and leave the rest, but they'll miss out on some, on some good stuff. So what we have is a flower centre, and we just pop these around. So we end up with these little gaps, or quite large gaps sometimes, and it's very hard to squeeze in another petal um, and have this sort of... Uh, of the grout line around the center as opposed to this one over here which is pretty much the same exactly the same petal the only thing i've done to it is cut or nip off this end bit so it fits beautifully around the circle i think that's about a 12 mil bead there and um, it just brings it together you can see all these spaces are more consistent with the size you want from a grout line so that's your very first the other thing you can do to your petals is cut off the end and round off the point so here gives you a completely different flower and of course whatever centers make it your own so here's one in red with one of these amazing centers let me let me get it up close see it's got bubbles in it it's just fantastic i want to get another big bag of those because these are brilliant for all sorts of things these two are pretty much the same flower but look and feel really different one with the bubbly center and one with a fairly strong colored black shiny bead so you can really create your own look and feel with your flowers. Down here, what I've done is cut the petals in half. One, I've put a curve in and I'll demonstrate that. How to put a curve in and how to just shape these end bits off. This one is just cut in half, no shaping. So you can still get um, a flower and these are very popular too with the straight edges. Or this one is one of those with a, a ground off, nipped off and ground off those points. And the other yeah. thing is about making petals. So if you get green ones, and I score these to get nice straight lines. So I've scored this petal down the centre. And I'll take a photo of this as a reference card. And this one here, what did I do there? Now, let me just turn it around. I can't put it back together. And here I think I'm good at jigsaw puzzles. So here's the petal here. And what I've done is just scored it through the middle. So I'll just straighten that out ready for its photograph. And here's the second one so we can see well, what the heck would I do with those? How, how, do that, how does that work? I'll do that now before we do these curves. So you can use these long skinny bits. Just play with it to find out what you really want to do with it and um, create uh, creating a stem here out of these and let's let's make it a really long stem and depending on where you line these up depends on the angle of your stem hopefully I haven't gone off the screen yet and just to the shape that you want then when you bring in the side petals so we'll have uh, big ones at the bottom through this and put them across this gap here so you don't end up with rivers of grout and 
and then the smaller petals you can just pop in whether you want them to be together here or in a different place okay so that's enough of all of that rearranging stuff let's have a look at how to do this bit and as a beginner you can do this okay you cut it in half and then just angle now and just nip from the center a weeny bit the weeniest smidge so in half i'll do it again on the angle here and i'll use the c bells for that and an angle here oops mm, the rubbers really stop us doing um that sort of shaping but what we want to do is is get a curve here and then we'll go around this with the grinder or the sanding pad to get to this uh, lovely little heart shaped petal and that's all there is to it so to cut this teardrop shape well it's sort of a teardrop shape in that well it's actually not a teardrop to cut this curved petal <laughs> Um, we're rounding off the end here but also making it fit really well so what we want to do there is just nip off the end bit just think fit beautiful and we'll do the same thing at the other end except we'll end up with this square bit and to turn it into a curve we we'll just cut those two corners off oops Sometimes uh, stained glass doesn't do what we want it to do. Um, and there you have that shape petal. So this is a great one for beginners. And of course, go around it with your uh, diamond hand pad or a quick whip round on your grinder, depending on what tools you have available to you. Let's say we want to make a garden pot, which is very popular um, activity for beginners and for seasoned uh, mosaic artists because we love to put our plants into pots. I've set the flower out so all I need to do now is pop on, I'm happy with it, some sticky tape or face tape whatever you want to call it which gives it flexibility, keeps everything together, cut off the excess tape grab your pot and if you're hopefully you're using a non-slumping um, adhesive of some sort and then what the beauty of this is that it will bend it's flexible so it makes it dead easy this is what we all do line up where you want it to be because I would put two two flat petals there because it's easier when you go to um, do the edge of course I could place it there if I wanted to test out the pattern first. I could lift it up and glue it from, I could lift it up and pop the glue on there, pop it back down, push it all into place, but watch it if you've got test that's of a different size. Um, and then leave it there till it's dry or pretty much cured, then take the tape off. And you could do a lovely pot with pretty flowers all the way around around the top with beautiful centers how cool would that be